Okay, <clears throat> we're about to start a new mission. Uh, I need to spend some scar karma too. But um, they're drones. So, I tested a support drone. Let's uh, take, for example, a face. Type the support drone Robodoc. A mate kit on wheels. It is a runner's best friend in the heat of a firefight. What do you think when you hear this? Uh, I'm thinking a medical drone of some kind that can. That's basically a support character, not a frontline unit, that can. has some kind of a healing ability. Uh, in a way, that's what it is, but that's not what it is. Support drones, as far as I can tell, are not really support drones. What they are are different type of uh, combat drones. While the attack type is uh, a single target attack weapon, it's basically, uh, I guess, some kind of an assault rifle type weapon. That's what they have. Uh, with a lot of attack abilities. Uh, a support is more like uh, it has a, every support drone that I tried has a grenade launcher as a main weapon with the infinite ammunition. And then they have an inventory of grenades and healing items based on their class. So what the designation actually is, is usually only determines what they have in their inventory when you start a mission and every one of them is a grenade launching platform so they're actually quite good combat drones on their own I could have bought a better uh, support drone but I, I don't really see much point at this point it's basically the same thing there's not too much of a difference a uh, Robodoc has um, medkits, so I thought that might be useful. I'm not sure if I had to buy them new ones. I would assume no. But uh, there's, um, there's a limited amount of uh, healing it can do. It is, first and foremost, it is a combat drone. That's what they, they even the support drone. There, it's just a bit of a different type of a combat drone, and that's it. it. It's certainly not a support unit in that sense that it stays in the background and provides assistance and buffs or healing to your own characters. That's not what it's for. That's a pretty limited portion of what it does. It's mainly a combat unit. Uh, I, I find that very misleading about how they're. Uh, how how their what the the support category doesn't really apply to them fully, and the name is very misleading. It's like saying a street samurai is a combat is a doctor because he has two med kits. It's it's not what it is. That's not what the drone is. It's not a doctor. It just has a couple of med kits. And in every other sense, it's a combat unit. 19 karma. Mm. Uh, I guess we will have to take intelligence. So we can get what we need for the Fairlight Excalibur. S class drones, uh, that's probably what I'll take though. That's guaranteed the best drones in the game without any additional investment. Just their abilities are a bit weaker if we can't get drone combat up. But we are missing some abilities if we don't develop it further. But this is the biggest one. Additional damage, additional accuracy. Next up will be 
go for the Fairlight Excalibur. So, what do we need? We need 8 more additional carbon points. We'll probably get all those 8 points from this mission. If not, then the mission after that. Yep, I think we're pretty much good to go. The mission will be HG Chemi Europa facility and we need to extract Mark 6 per side. Blitz will be going on the next mission, so I'm not taking him here. Glory, Dietrich. What do you have anyway? Yeah, no, nothing would be worthwhile. Blitz is too much of a. There's too much overlap with myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. Mark 6. Monolith. Monolithic plastic sterile. The Berlin office of AG Chemi Europa is all of these things and more. Worst qualities of modern corporate culture. All mixed into a toxic stew and sliced sluiced into a single prefab office building. Thankfully, you shouldn't have to stay long. According to the intel that your client provided, this should be a simple smash and grab operation. You've been given the tools to carry out with a minimum of fuss. The Mark VI prototype, whatever it is, is waiting for you on the 25th floor. It's time to go and get it. Hmm, with those. Let's just go. Shut down building security, reach the 25th floor. Satellite administrative complex after hours. These crates have been sealed. The only visible markings are Project Atlas. Advanced medkits. After a few moments of shifting through cables, you find a diagnostic connector with the right input to fit the little black box that Herr Schmidt gave you. Like in the box. The connector slips into the box with a satisfying click. A tiny red light set into the box's lid begins flashing. After a few seconds, it turns solid yellow and then finally shifts green. At an instant, all the lights in the garage turn off. A few seconds later, the emergency lighting kicks in. If what Smith told you was true, you just killed the main power for most of the building. In theory, the box has also circumvented the security cameras on the building's upper floors. You should be able to intercept the camera feeds by tapping into the elevator console on the 24th floor. A handy little thing, a light team. Let's go. Without a warning, your comm link screen bursts into static. You hear a telltale series of clicks. Someone has established an audio connection to your comm link. 
moment later a deep, sonorous voice speaks into your ear. You recognize it instantly, your large contact, Ukadur. Atme, do not speak, just listen. I have a proposition for you. Understand that your team is currently en route to retrieve a package, a Mark VI prototype, if I am not mistaken. My associates and I are interested in, in acquiring the Mark VI for our own studies. We would like you to deliver the device to us. Once you've acquired the Mark VI, you will proceed back to the garage as planned. There you will find a transport parked out beside your client's van. Put the Mark VI into the transport and you will be rewarded. Hirschmidt will also be dealt with to protect you from a reprisal. To accept our offer, simply proceed as instructed and return the prototype to us. Please note that we need the Mark VI in undamaged condition. If it's not in full working order, it is useless to us. As I'm sure that you are aware, the Lodge takes good care of its friends. Trust me, Aunt May, it would be to your advantage to help us. Line goes dead with a click. A moment later, the sound of your teammates' commentator return. They are apparently unaware of the message that you such just received. Okay. Hey guys, listen up. I just got a calm from Luca Duer. The Lodge wants the Mark VI for themselves. I don't know about that. Betraying a client is bad business. And right now, we need all the business we can get. I'm inclined to agree. Yeah, but disappointing the lot isn't a great move either. They have pull on me. A lot of pull. Yeah, I've never stabbed a client in the back before. I'm not about... I'm not going to start now. She nods. I know that will make me sleep easier at night. Yeah, and I'll spend my days looking over my shoulder. Yeah. Uh, I don't want... If they hired me and we've made a contract... If I'm going to screw basically that the other side over, I can't really complain when everyone else screws me over, now can I? So I'd like the contracts I've made, basically, at least I'm not going to be the star one to start screwing people over. If they, someone else breaks it first, then all bets are off, but I'm not going to want starting it. Iker indicates a console built into the wall besides the elevator. This looks like uh, the elevator console. The camera feed should have been routed here. It only takes a moment to connect your PDA, and immediately visual feeds from all over the building begin to flood in. Yeah, definitely a handy little toy. Now I really want one. Hmm, can probably avoid a lot of trouble now. There are people here. Some kind of a security room, control room, I guess. From this perspective, I'm not spotting anything else. But it, it's easy to miss. There's no highlighting on, on these people. So maybe I'm just missing something. Let's take a look around. This is the 24th floor, so this isn't the floor we are about to be on. Laboratory entrance. Warning, toxic gas detected. Laboratory lockdown engaged. Clear the toxic gas. Laboratory observation. A warning light strobes out from the console at your approach. Large white letters shriek out against a red background. Warning, toxic containment detected. COCL2, phosgene gas, 
Hazardous material override engaged. Laboratory entrances locked down. Uh, if you'd had biotech, you could probably know what the gas is. Or, I mean, properties of the gas. And we don't just want to disengage the lockdown, we just only want to get rid of the toxic gas. Birds laboratory air induce gases agent to laboratory atmosphere. Access substance library. A substance library seems like a smart thing to do. Connection failed, network access is unavailable. Use direct link. Use direct terminal access if the data source. Okay, what was it? C O is that C I guess it's C L because Yeah. C O C L two. We I guess we could vent it. Oh, where the hell would we vent it though? It, it, I, I don't even know. I'd like to know what the gas is. Data store as well, that's good. COCL2, commonly known as phos phosgene gas, a highly toxic colorless gas that gained infamy for its use as a chemical weapon during the First World War. It is also valued as an industrial reagent and as a building block from which pharmaceuticals and other organic compounds can be synthesized. In low concentrations, the odor is reminiscent of freshly cut grass. The odor detection threshold for phosgene is 0.4 ppm, parts per million, I guess. Four times its threshold limit value. Phosgene related deaths are generally caused by the interaction of the gas and the proteins of the pulmonary alve alveoli. End result of this interaction is the destruction of the blood air barrier, preventing the transmission of oxygen, oxygen to the blood. Death by suffocation inevitably follows. It is highly recommended that any employee working in or around this gas wear a detector badge. A suitable supply of sodium bicarbonate or liquid phosgene or and ammonia for gaseous. Phosgene must be kept on hand to neutralize spill and leakages. So, ammonia. Hmm. We Ex executive level authorization required. Yeah, checking. Authorization accepted. Welcome, Herr Stromberg. Mark 6 prototype data stored under Project Atlas heading. Re redirecting inquiry Project Atlas. Volume the option. Find out more about Project Atlas. Volumes of information begin to flit across the screen. A good half of what you're seeing has been redacted, and the rest is written in impossibly dense corpse speak. Yeah. A ticket corporate. Access visual record. BP level authorization required. Do you wish do you wish to proceed? Yeah. Authorization accepted. Welcome her householder. There are too many records here to sort through quickly. A quick scan reveals the following details. Recordings of labor laboratory experiments on metahumans. Images of extensive series of cy cyber surgeries being performed about, upon a large troll. Recordings of that same troll carving his way through opponents with ma a massive axe. A gun cam footage from what appears to be a vehicle mounted chain gun. The weapon has been pho photographed tearing apart a variety of targets, both artificial and organic. 
computer maybe the it's mounted on a troll instead of a vehicle yeah. This looks like more of an infiltration mission. You need to raise our decking soon. That was basically... Yeah, we didn't have decking skills. We had, If I hadn't bought the armor that provides plus one decking, we wouldn't, be, wouldn't have been able to penetrate the defenses anymore here. So we need taking skill improved right now, right this second. A warning light strobes out from the console. Okay, introduced gases agent to laboratory atmosphere. Uh, please input a input agent to introduce um, ammonia. Was it? Uh, I'm not sure, is it ammonia or ammonia? Uh oh, I didn't pay attention. Yep. Introducing ammonia gas to laboratory atmosphere. Disengage, lockdown. No contaminants detected, disengaging locked. Okay, that's three points of karma and... It's a ticking plus one. Couldn't well, we have sent in a drone or something? Well. This computer is powered on, but in sleep mode. When the screen comes to life, you find a half-written text file on the screen. The timestamp on the most recent edits tell you that it was written just a few minutes ago. I didn't sleep last night. Doesn't look like I'm going to sleep tonight either. The last test batch failed. My fault. I got the mixtures wrong. Sloppy work, Jensen. I can barely keep my eyes open. Got to try again though. No excuses in this office. I despise relying on stimulants, but I've got no choice. Got to keep going. Progress marches on. Starting a new batch. If Haushofer's pet isn't ready to be tested tomorrow, well, best not to think about that. Got to concentrate. <laughs> Remember the lab safety. Keep alert, keep awake. One wrong move could spell disasters. Yeah. Glancing at the menu, it looks like there are, lo are log entries reaching back for two weeks. All of the entries are attributed to the same author, and none of them appear to be password protected. Okay, two weeks ago. A new formula arrived today, Formula 17. I swear, whoever names these things must have no imagination at all. Formula 17? Honestly. Still, I can't wait to start working with it. From what I've read, the early clinical trials are promising in the extreme. Amazingly potent, this stuff. An increased potency means less frequent injections. At a lower dosage, there's nothing not to like. Despite my enthusiasm, there's still much to be done. Speeding up absorption rates is first on the list, and I have some concerns regarding subjects' immune reactions. Perhaps the formula could be tailored on a patient-by-patient -patient basis. Okay. Last week. Tailoring doses to individual patients has worked wonders. The key was taking a gene therapy-based approach. They've been using it in medicine for ages, so why not apply the same logic here? So, in a nutshell, 
have used the subject's own DNA to dil dilute the, their immune systems into believing that Formula 17 belongs in their bodies, simple and effective. This approach has helped to increase the formula's absorption rate, as well as significantly reducing incidence of rejection. Unfortunately, it also rules out an easily mass-produced product. I am convinced that the results will justify the additional costs yesterday. A week! He waits an entire week before telling me the tailoring of the mixture is an un unacceptable solution. And then he tells me that the trials are to begin tomorrow. I have no time and geese breaks applying so much pressure that I can barely think, bastard. Householder is probably threatening him, all of them can rot. Maybe now that Householder is playing heat the playing heat the sheets with Giesbeck's secretary, he'll learn to lighten up, I can only hope. Anyway, I have some new ideas to move forward with the formula. Admittedly they're far fetched, probably even dangerous, but if I don't start producing some results, I get the feeling that it won't be my problem for much longer. Wish me luck, Journal. It's science time. Well, now we know what went wrong. The scientist lays dead beside a small pile of smashed glass, and a number of breakers have been knocked over on the nearby tip. On the counter is a note, carefully transcribed in neat handwriting. The paper bears the letterhead of Senior Executive Leonard Stromberg. I'm still waiting for the report. When I said ASAP, I meant it needed it. I needed it yesterday. Stay until you completed the test, then leave the report on my desk. The door code is, code is 54139. Oh, really? Do this tonight. I'll expect to see it waiting for me when I arrive tomorrow, Stromberg. Mm, so there wasn't anything particularly interesting here. Where is the security detail? Yeah, there. Uh, we still have some free room here to explore. I wonder if we can avoid going there entirely. Security room. Well, there's basically a locker there, but that's about it. Certainly not worth bothering, if that's the only thing there is there. Okay. What is this? Maintenance room, something like that. Building maintenance. Make kits. Yeah. Junior Executive Warner Hard Digger. On the bar are a number of bottles of alcohol, most of them look expensive. Examine the bottles, but that's. you'd need an etiquette socialite. Grab a bottle on Porter Road. Cheap booze. Yeah, I didn't know how to pick the good one. At first glance, this terminal appears unremarkable. Its password locked and a cheerful screensaver marches across its display. Okay, inspect the terminal. Upon closer inspection, you notice something. Interspersed among the colorful bouncing sprite of screensaver, 
is a symbol that you recognize. A dead drop marker of the Shockwellen Writer. A Shockwellen Writer message drop. As you study the display, a green light wings on above the terminal display. Recording light of a pinhole camera. The screensaver disappears and the screen floods with glowing green text. Shockwellen Writer contributor number 1432 recognized. Welcome, Aunt May. Okay, secret projects. This is an open request for information about the project and material prototypes being developed at this facility. It is known that a synthetic drug is being developed here in support of a project called Atlas. In addition, a functional prototype called Mark 6 has been developed. The first contributor to provide us with the project data for Atlas, the chemical formula for this new drug, and visual records of the Mark 6 in operation will be handsomely rewarded. All three pieces of information are required for a payout. AG Chemical Chemi Europa is known to be a heartless corporation with little regard for metahuman safety or morality. They got their secret jealously and seek to hoard all information gained from themselves. This behavior cannot be allowed to go unpunished. What they know all shall know. No longer will they hide their secrets in the shadows. A timely delivery of this information will be well rewarded. Freedom, Equality, Information, Shuck and Bell and Rider. Hmm. Project Data, Visual Records, Truck Formula. Zero of three files found. That has to be the. For God's sakes. Download project data to your PDA for Shack and Bellen Writer. Project data. Okay. Jewel record. Copy the visual record. What else? What else? Reach the 25th floor, not this. Large. Return the prototype undamaged to the large. Drug formula. Mark 6 prototype data stored under Project Atlas AI. It's the same. No formula. I think we've gained, gotten most of what we needed anyway from this. I need to get the formula from somewhere else. <coughs> <clears throat> Senior Executive Leonard Stromberg, Secretary Annika Schroeder. Enter passcode. Ooh, spellcasting conjuring. Examine the keypad in astral space. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, what was the code? Uh. This is the secretary. A sack of business cards on this desk reveals that it belongs to one Annika Schroeder. Cursory search reveals that the desk drawers are stuffed full of lewd love notes, all hastily written on scraps of office stationery. Yeah, rummage through the notes. Exploring Annika's desk is like embarking on an odyssey of filth. 
30 seconds in, you've already learned three new euphemisms for sex in a storage closet, as well as exciting new definitions for a variety of common office terms. Thankfully, your search also turns up something of more immediate value. A scrap of paper with a name and a five-digit ghost scribbled on it. Household verb. Yeah, we probably don't need to go. 84792 On the disk is a file folder labeled Project Atlas. Folder is empty except for a single note. Move to digital archive locked under executive authorization. How do we get access to the next floor? I guess we'll have to go into the security room now. Mm, but I, I don't see anything that would really help us here. So let's just try to move like ghosts past here. Oh, they move through the building structure. A okay, authorization required for access to executive elevator. Passcode. Um, let's try the passcode we got. What was it? Was it eight four seven nine two? Access granted. Floor twenty five. Well, this is going fairly smoothly. No. The elevator whisks you upward toward the executive level 20, 25th floor. As expected, the run has been relatively smooth sailing so far. A chime breaks the silence as the elevator slides to a stop. The Mark 6 is somewhere on this floor. All you have to do is find it. Color the prototype. That be the troll they've been in there, doing experiments with, or an actual sample of their drug being used. Hmm. Emergency lights wink out, wink out, leaving you in darkness. A moment later, the building lights flip on, cranked all the way up to full illumination. The light is uncomfortably bright. A quick check of your comlink shows that your security feed has been terminated. Instead of a command view of the 24th floor, you find yourself staring at a blank screen. Yeah, that can't be good. Yeah, this will probably turn into a fight near about now. This looks like a fighting area anyway, a lot of cover. Way too many boxes and things like that. Ah, we'll see, we'll see. The door slides open with a pneumatic hiss. An enormous figure fills your vision. It stands motionless. By a console in the corner of the room. Yikes. Almost every inch of the thing is covered in dull steel and gleaming chrome. Its mechanical arms end in articulated hands that wouldn't look out of place on an industrial machine. Bulky, cumbersome things, designed for crushing power rather than finesse. Clutched in one of those crushing hands, a chain gun gleams with sinister purpose. That, yeah, that shouldn't be possible. Nothing can be implanted, implanted with that much chrome and, li and live. Yeah, Dietrich shakes his head. Ah, uh, that is, this isn't right. 
Well, well, whatever it is, it's not moving. I think that it's on standby. The lights are on, but nobody's home. Picture stands completely still, but its eyeless head fidgets in agitation. Something's about about it reminds you of a snake testing the air, tasting the air. Off to one side, the screen of a control console glows cheerfully in the gloom. Yeah, not like we have a lot of options here. Mark Six, the Cyber Zombie Prototype Control Console. Yeah, Cyber Zombie is lovely. This Mark Six prototype is the exclusive property of AG Chemi Europa, and authorized access is prohibited. To put the prototype into demonstration mode, you may activate its systems from the following menu. Alternatively, the system can be directly piloted via a remote control rig. Please press any key to continue. Input command. Mm, have Glory examine Cyber Zombie's augmentations. Glory nods and steps forward. As she stands next to the Cyber Zombie, you can't help but notice how much chrome riddles her own body. The Cyber Wear is high grade. Quality stuff, but not mil mili mili spec. I'm guess mili not military military grade. The arms look industrial in design. Interesting choice. There's nothing wrong with it. Huh? The control system looks interesting, like a drone control interface, but it's wired into the base of the skull. From the positioning, I'd say it's connected directly to the thing's brainstem. Tommy takes a closer look at the Cyber Zombie's control module. A moment later, she takes a sudden half step back. She turns to look at you, a disgusted look on her face. Aunt May, listen to me. We have to kill this thing. This thing is our payday, Glory explained. This. This stroll, it's still conscious. He's still conscious. They've outfitted him with an inhibitor shit chip. He's trapped in his own body, screaming to get out. This this isn't just a prototype, Aunt May. It's a person. You can't just cash him in for a paycheck. Okay, can you do anything about it? She takes another look at the control module scowling. No promises, but I can try. Um. Yeah, this could be a real problem. We are risking our pay from this, and even the special guys who wanted the prototype and the extra guys who wanted the prototype, they both want him. And if we remove the inhibitor, there's no telling he might even turn on us. Might be pretty much insane at this point, who hell knows. But no, there's nothing in our mission description that prohibits this either. Because there's no telling what the prototype was. Just to go in there and get it. Do it. Not here. Let's get him down to the garage first. I want to have the van close by in case anything goes wrong. In the meantime, we're gonna have to activate him. She falls back to her regular position in the group. Just remember, Aunt May, that's a man you're giving orders to, not a machine. Okay, systems readme file. 
Mark 6 prototype demonstration model. This Mark 6 prototype incorporates top of the line cyberware from all of AG Chemi Europa subsidiaries, including the Zeiss dead, dead site, later designator, BUT Heavy industry, Industries Powerlift, Industrial Cyber Arms, and the brand new Zeiss Sense Shell Cyber Skull. Where necessary, competitors' products have been incorporated into the platform. Average thermal plating, universal Omnitech, move by wire, etc. This system should be considered placeholders for this proof of concept prototype. Biological component of the Mark VI was selected for size and durability by General Genetics Worldwide. All the autonomous functions necessary to maintain the biological component are original to the component itself and should self-regulate within operational limits. As a proof of concept demonstration model, the Mark VI was designed for remote operation. A Zeiss Eye in the Sky drone control system has been incorporated into the Mark VI's cyber skull. Comlink control is also possible for casual control, but for product demonstration purposes, use the drone control system. Use of the drone control system is advised. Armaments. The Mark VI prototype comes equipped with an Ares Vanquisher with vehicular rotator rotary cannon to demonstrate the Mark VI's act, act, actuated strength and recoil suppression capabilities. The model is also equipped with a global polymerous monofilament axe. For dem demonstration purposes, this weapon has been designed with a heft well beyond the lifting cap capacity of any unaugmented metahuman. The Mark VI, of course, can swing it with ease. Long term goals. If demonstrating the Mark VI's combat capabilities, in demonstrating the Mark VI's combat capabilities, it is this office, office's hope that AG Chemi Europa's newly developed Formula 17 cyber, cybermantic reagent will prove its value to the board of director, directors, both as an astonishing technical achievement and as a lucrative new revenue stream for the company. Yeah, drone control. Take a closer look at the Cyber Zombies control system. The Cyber Zombies control system is very similar to a standard, albeit high-end drone rigging interface. It looks as though it should be a fairly simple task to rig into it. It will still drive itself, uh, however, your drone control rig should allow it to react to your commands much faster. Yeah, rig into the Cyber Zombie. Your consciousness slips into the Mark VI's as easily as it would but any other drone, but the sensation is strange. You flex your fingers and the Cyber Zombie responds, but it responds too quickly, too eagerly. It almost seems to intuit your commands before you finish giving them. You feel a strange tickling sensation in your spine, coupled with a gnawing sense of unease. Mark VI stands at the ready, its crushing hands flexing in anticipation, slave to your command. Yeah, activate the cyber zombie and step away from the console. With a mental command, you activate the Mark VI. It takes a step toward and it takes a step forward and you can hear the whir of actuators like calibrating to adjust its weight. A few seconds later, the whirring sound, die, sound dies down, it relaxes into a slight crouch. Activation complete, follow and protect protocol engage, waiting for further instructions.
Oh, shocking, shocking. Knight Errant Captain. The Knight Errant Captain takes a half step toward you, magnified by his mask speakers. His voice comes out like the roar of some great beast. Drop your weapons and stay, step away from the prototype. Do it now. Yeah, I've got a better idea. You drop your weapons and I won't order the tin man here to tear you in half. Knight Errant Captain pauses a moment before responding. Responding. When he speaks, his voice is dripping with scorn. Try it. See what happened. See what happens. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. We honestly think that they didn't install a safeguard in that thing. That we couldn't take it back from you at a moment's notice. Now drop your weapons and or I'll have that abomination tear you in half. Yeah. Let's talk about this. Stop wasting my time. Get your ass on the floor or get ready to have one on one with the Almighty. Yeah, to hell with this. How good are you? He has seven and <laughs> four action points. Has a very powerful axe. <laughs> Hugely powerful goddamn minigun. Yeah. Burst fire. Two attacks in one action that increases chance of critical use as five bullets or full auto fire. Five attacks in one round that do half of normal attack damage. Minus fifteen percent to hit uses ten bullets. Uh, not all that great. They do have an area of base. Okay. Designate target. Marks a target with a reflected laser light, making it easier to hit. Action points zero. I wonder if. Well. Yeah, Let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah, there's one <laughs> night commander town. This is a very damaging weapon on its own. Skin guy down. Uh, you summon something from there. Yeah, it's too far away. Okay, yeah, this is a medical droid. Uh, basically, it has concussion grenades and a couple of medkits. That's the medical part of it. Everything else is basically a uh, mortar. That's what it really is. Just a mortar platform. I'm trying to get rid of the mage type characters. <sighs> okay, what can you do?
the bit of sniping. Yeah, I probably should shoot these because they can shoot us on from the direction where we have no cover on. Um, that's just nice. Holy shit, we're taking a huge amount of damage. Root system access attempt registered. Override accepted. Accessing prototype override. Oh shit. Okay, there's a rigger there. How much can you move? Mm, quite a bit. Shit. Seriously wounded this time. <sighs> okay, we survived this. not. The grenade here is dead. Yeah, root override accepted. Shit. Okay, this might have gone really, really wrong now. I didn't realize that the rigor was so big of a tr threat. I was wondering where his drones were, but yeah. We were just a bit too slow. Yeah. Uh, we're basically still this good. Single loss reverting to previous control structure. We are in real bad condition. A glory lost up. Uh, Uh, they 
equipment use it is very, very cumbersome in this game outside combat at least and you can't use pills outside of combat very odd very odd very the, the odd is not the problem the cumbersome part is the problem <laughs> 